Hey guys, in this video I'll be doing the baffle system in the solar kiln. Uh, this system is just to force air around the kiln and through the stack of wood just to help take the moisture off the wood. this works is the fans will suck in air from the outside and they're going to force the air against the roof which will go down and there's going to be I'm going to hang um, a drop cloth down here that hangs over the wood that way the air is forced down around and through the stack of wood and then it'll go out the vents on the bottom of the door so the air goes in the top vents on the door and out the bottom so with those doors closed it's probably a little over 100 degrees in there and it's uh, 61 degrees outside right now so it definitely heats up in there I'll have to get a thermometer and uh, get the accurate temperature in there uh, but these fans are radiator fans I figured that since they're radiator fans they're probably made to be in a warmer environment such as a car engine so I think they'd probably be okay up to 160 degrees which they say these solar kilns get up to around there so on the bottom and the top of the doors they have um, some vents and those will be closed at the beginning and then as the wood dries I'll open them incrementally and that way it'll let more air in um, the end of the drying process. If you have too much air um, at the beginning, from what I understood, is you can harden, or it's kind of like case hardening the outside of the wood. And then, so the outside gets really dry and the inside's not very dry. And that'll cause a lot of internal uh, pressure in the wood and you'll get a bunch of splitting. So that way with the vents you can control how much air is forced around the wood. So in the beginning, I'll close it, and as it dries, I'll open it more so they get more airflow. The fans are controlled with a 12-volt battery, and the 12-volt battery is charged by a solar panel that's out front. It's a 30-watt solar panel, um, and the solar charge controller that I have on it, I can control how much voltage is put into the fans, and I put it to the lowest setting that the charge controller can do. That way it won't drain the battery too fast. I can also set um, a timer on the solar charge controller so it's only running certain times a day, which I'll probably let it charge a little bit in the morning and then in the afternoon it'll kick on when it's pretty hot inside and it'll start moving the air. I hope you enjoyed watching this part of the solar kiln build. In the next video I'm going to be loading the solar kiln and just showing how it works all together. Um, and then in future videos I'll be showing how it dries the wood and to what moisture content. If you don't want to miss out on those videos, make sure that you're subscribed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.